Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cece and I'm a reseller on pretty much Poshmark exclusively. And I have a thrift haul video today. It's a 30, no, 40 item video. And I had a really good haul and it's been a while since I did a video. So I wanted to share what I got. But I first wanna say back in September, I made a video saying I was just totally done with Poshmark and their search just, everything that they've done and like any good reseller i couldn't stay away i couldn't stay out of the thrift store i couldn't stop thrifting and i couldn't stop posting new items i have downsized a little bit i'm getting rid of items in my closet that are just stale and outdated that's a long process uh, but i'm doing it bit by bit and i'm still sourcing and i think i'm sourcing better items my sales have been okay september was a terrible month october was okay Today is November 30th. I'm pretty much on track to do the same volume sales-wise in November as I did in October. So let's get into the haul I did on November 28th. So I spent about, I was there from opening until about, I checked out at 10.59 a.m. They open at nine. So I was there two hours. I got two shoe rotations. Um, when you come in, the bins are fresh, the clothing bins. And then as I was leaving, they were rolling out new clothing bins, but I had enough. Um, I'm really pretty much trying to go more heavily focused on shoes and handbags just because they're easier to store and post. And I think they sell quick, like they're in clothes, clothing, you need to know a lot and it's not that I don't know a decent amount, but there's so many factors that play in with shoes. It's simpler. So anywho, I spent two hours there. I spent $65 and 67 cents. I got 40 items. Their rate there is $1.59 a pound and my weight was 38.60 pounds. So let me show you what I got. I had a pretty good haul. I wasn't expecting it to be. Um, I've got the handbags right here, so we will go into those first. This was a new brand to me. It's called Is Isabella's Journey, and it's kind of a brocade tapestry bag. It comes with a little uh, attached like money pouch or cosmetic pouch, but they do okay. I mean, I'm expecting to get maybe 20, 25 for this, but I think the tapestry bag and the burnt orange color uh, keywords will help there. Then I saw this New Yorker bag and I love the New Yorker and a lot of people do. Uh, it's really not big enough for me to keep it for myself, but it's in good condition. And I looked when I got home at the comps on Poshmark and these sell typically around $25. I got this messenger bag in the, what they call D rug material. It's Earthbound Trading Company. It's in great condition. Just a little black interior, D-rug finish in a multi-black and red print. <clears throat> so, yeah. Then I got I got three hats. I love buying hats lately. So this is a wool blend hat from Orly. It's just kind of a pastel. I've been selling okay on hats. I don't get a lot for them, but they sell pretty consistently, so I pick them up. And honestly, at the bins, nobody else is really looking for hats. So when I'm in the purse bin, they always have hats mixed in. I've been going full throttle on that lately. Uh, this is a new with tag hat by Yacht and Smith. I'm not familiar with that company. It's just like a simple beige-ish beanie, but uh, I went to have picked it up probably in the summer. I guess maybe it has something to do with yachting. This is a beautiful hat. I have loved picking up church hats lately and fascinators. Uh, because I'm in the South, I think it's easy to find those things. And yeah, <laughs> somebody's going to buy that. It's like a pink sort of salmon color with the floral applique. So I was glad to pick that up. Uh... I saw this duffel bag. This is actually not in the purse bins. It was in one of the clothing bins. So I think maybe someone looked at it and decided against it. It's a vegan leather by Converse. And it still had somebody's Disney 
travel arrangements in it. It's clean. It's got that kind of strap. It also had the, uh, let's see here. Oh, it has a paper somewhere. Can I not find it now? I probably lost it. But it had the original, like, hang tag with it. And it looked kind of, okay, here it goes. So to me, it looks kind of, like, retro maybe. Like, this is an older bag. Like, who puts those kind of, what does this say? Oh, these are just their stock numbers. But, no, it's a pretty sweet bag. I'm going to post it as men's. Um, but there's no wear on it. I don't, I think it was carried that one time and that was it. Oops, hold on. And then this is a Lucky Brand mustard yellow kind of satchel or hobo rather with a whip stitch accent. I just learned that uh, keyword yesterday, whip stitch. I had another red purse I was posting and it had that stitching accent. And I Googled what that meant and it's whip stitch. So that's a new keyword for me. Uh, it has a mark on it. I'm pretty good at getting those kind of stains out, but if it doesn't come out, I think that'll, I do okay with lucky purses. This is good old trusty Vera Bradley. It's a, it's a very functional slim crossbody in gray with a polka dot interior. I'm tempted to keep this just because I love a good functional uh, small bag, but I don't know. I'm carrying a different, I'm carrying a Dooney and Burke right now that I got at Shop Goodwill and I'll see. If that doesn't sell, maybe I'll carry it at some point. This is another Earthbound Trading Company bag. It's just a small green crossbody. Unfortunately, when I got home, so this side has a clincher, this side does not. So the person fixed it by knotting it. It's got a little tassel. It's just a simple uh, boho crossbody. So yeah, I've got that posted already, I think for $15. This I also have posted. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. It is a peacock evening bag with a kiss lock opening. It has two straps. So it has this longer strap that can be worn over the shoulder. And then it came with a shorter strap to like carry it by the wrist. And then it has a bottle opener that's never been used. So at first when I got that out, I was like, what is this? And it has their little brand logo on it. And it has a clip on it. So um, I've got that posted for 30 or 35, I think. A few of them sold. There were a few others posted at um, that sold for 25 or 30. So but it's beautiful. I think it's just a gorgeous bag. And then I think that is it for the bags. Let's get into, I've got a bunch of shoes here. I only have a few clothing items, so let's do those. I try not to pick up Victoria's Secret because of the uh, metallic on this one. I picked it up. It's a 36 double D angels, dream angels bra, great condition. I think I have that posted already for 15. This is a mirror image mesh swim cover up. No tags, but I've sold this brand before, so I know. And it's got little sequins and netting, size extra large, based on, like, I just measured it and also compared it to myself. <clears throat> I wear extra large. So um, I notice in. Uh, Swimwear starts going from January, January and February because people are going on cruises. It's a little bit easier to sell swimwear. So this was a new brand to me, and I can't pronounce it, but it's a, a hunter green alpaca scarf, and it was made in Peruvia, and the brand is Cajon Tico. Can you see that? But it's in good condition. It's just very soft and it's got the little fringe end. So there was that. And then I love picking up a good cotton full length nightgown. They always sell. I just sold one overnight while I was sleeping. Well, that one was flannel and it's cold everywhere. So that makes sense. But this is Fashion Bug, which was, I think that was like an 80s brand. Kind of like a Cato sort of store for the 80s. 
but it's cotton. It is so cute because the, uh, it's a good thick cotton, <coughs> excuse me. And it's got hearts on the print. I don't, is that coming through? They're hearts and then this trim is hearts and the buttons are hearts as well. And it's full length. So um, I've got that posted. I expect that to sell within the month, if not sooner. This is dirty. I need to wash it. But it is a men's uh, chunky knit zip front sweater by, I think it's Banana Republic Factory. Yeah. Is this a wool blend? No, it's a cotton sweater. It needs washing. It has like a food mark right down here. I don't know. You can probably see that. So I'm going to wash it. But it's right on time for the season and it's in good condition. I think I looked on the interior tag yesterday and you know how they put the date on there. It was like from, it was old, like from 2015 or something, I think. But that is a great sweater. Then I got this Brooks Brothers 346. I believe 346 is their lower end line. I washed this, it said dry clean only, but it's a woman size 14 seersucker blazer and it's got um, the double pockets on the right movement slit or um, wind flap at back and it's cute and it's got pink little highlighted stitching on the inside and an interior pocket so I want to get that steamed and posted the lining got a little wrinkled from me watching it washing it but the neckline was just it was all it was dirty, like makeup dirty or sweat dirty. But I am happy about that. And then my last, oh no, I have two more clothing items. So this was Athleta, which I, I get on the fence about picking up, but this is just a stretchy white laser cut accent activewear top, super stretchy, very easy to wear. Honestly, if it were my size, I would keep it, but it's a size medium, so. I don't know, I guess I'll list that for $15, maybe 20 at the most. Clearly I'm running a volume operation. When I can find good items that are gonna net me more, I do, but I don't always find great items, so I'm going for volume to make lots of sales at, you know, 25, 20, $15 price point. So this I was so glad to find. So pretty much every time I've been at the Savannah Goodwill outlet in the last couple of months, I found one of these 100% wool cable knit cream sweaters. They typically sell within the week. I usually post them at 45 and I get like 35, 40 for them, depending. Um, usually the ones I get were made in Ireland. This one's actually the limited America collection. Um, it's size extra large, which is, no, it's size large. It's 100% wool. I did a quick look up of the brand because I was like, oh, okay, I've never heard of that. I mean, obviously, I've heard of the Limited, but I hadn't heard of their America connection. And it does pretty well. And, I mean, this is going to sell within the week, especially with that size. Now, we all know that wool gets holes, and I looked it over really good. At the bins, I didn't see any. Even if there were holes, I still would have gotten it because I've gotten really good at darning. Like pretty much every wool sweater I get needs to be darned. But it has a stain that I'm just, it looks like food. I'm gonna um, just spot clean that. You can't even really see it. And hopefully get that posted today. Okay, oh no, I have one more clothing item. The last clothing item, honestly. Okay, so this is a this is a golf Lady Hagen size 12 golf golf skirt. It's black. The sunlight's kind of making it look navy, but it's black. Um, it's a skirt, tennis. Probably post that at 20, maybe get 15 or 14. Okay, so now let's move on to shoes, which was what I got the most of. I got this pair of Jessica Simpson calf hair. Heels, they're in good condition, except just a little bit of wear at the back there. Um, they didn't sell at the Goodwill. I think they're size seven, 
But yeah, those were cute. I was happy to get those. I gotta find a place to set these shoes down. I got, so there were, like I said, there were two shoe rotations. One probably about 9.30 a.m. And then another one be right before I left. So I was getting ready to check out and then they started pulling back old sh the shoe bins that were out there. So that means that new ones are coming out. So I started digging around in the clothing bins a little bit more. And then of course, when they rolled them out, we all rush over there. I mean, not rudely, everyone's cool. Like, um, but there were a lot of the regulars there and we we're all just digging. And after I got through each of the three, I walked to my cart to inspect what I had. And then I went back after everyone had kind of moved on and looked through. And a few of the first shoes I found were designer shoes. A lot of the regulars at the Savannah outlet that are there every day for shoes, they're going for tennis shoes, which is great because I'm not going for tennis shoes. So I think they really don't pay attention to shoes like this, but these are Christian Louboutin. And I, if you've watched my videos in the past, I got another pair of Christian Louboutin uh, pink heels that ended up not being the real deal. I sold them for 25, it was okay. They were, I mean, they were well-made, they were just fake. And I put that in the posting. <clears throat> but these are the real, de real deal. I did quite a bit of research and photo comparisons on them when I got home. So um, I can't remember the model name of these. The size is 39. And there ain't nothing wrong with these shoes. They're in great condition. So that alone made it worth it. Like I said, my total cost was $67, or excuse me, $65.67. Then nearby was a pair of Lily Pulitzer heels. And I sell quite a bit of Lily Pulitzer, not shoes so much, but these were originally priced, it says, at 109. And it says they're size 38 and a half. Usually what I see with the Lily Pulitzer shoes is they have U.S. sizes on them. Uh, but these didn't. But they're just super cute little heels. 38 and a half is the size. So another great pair of shoes. Then another, I got a pair of Gucci were also nearby. So I think, and these are size, it says 8C. And I looked at these quite a bit. They're either a, they're a silk satin upper little kitten heel uh, they were rubber banded together like Goodwill usually does and yeah these are the real deal I did a lot of research yesterday so I mean with those the two designer shoes I mean on one pair I'm gonna more than make back that whole haul which is amazing because that doesn't always happen for me. There's days that I go and I just get tons of run-of-the-mill bread and butter. So totally unexpected finds. I'm very happy about them, obviously. Um, I might get those posted later today. I just, I want to make sure that, oh, I just saw a screw. Oh, no, never mind. Anyway, we'll see. So this brand is Sarah, S-E-R-R-A. I'd never heard of it before, but they're like a Rothy's and it says on the tag inside that they're made, made from recycled material. They're washable, which I'm gonna have to do with these because the cream <clears throat> has some markings on it, but these are really cute. If they were my size, I would actually keep those. Um, I did actually find two things for myself yesterday. I found a pink button down shirt that I can use at my other job. It was cotton, it was just like a Walmart brand, but it was just what I needed. And I found a pair of pink slippers that I have on right now. I've washed them, obviously, but it got so cold this last week that um, the slippers were the thing I didn't know I needed because I was just wearing socks around the house when the floor was cold and the slippers are great. So anywho, Lucky Brand, pewter whip stitch accent, just simple ballet flats, really no markings, they're in great shape. Um, you know, Lucky Brand doesn't sell for what it used to. Obviously, it's very oversaturated. But I do find that the shoes and the purses do all right. So, um, Soft, I always pick up this brand if the shoe is in good condition. They're, they're made in Europe. I can't remember which country. But these are just kind of like a Mary Jane with brown and tan trim with a nice accent at the back. So a nice... Um, you know, 
more conservative heel for work or something that someone can wear it for. Then I got this pair of Oka Bs. I love picking up Oka B. These are size medium, which I think is like a six, seven, but they're just a black slide on rubber, good condition with the um, bow accent at the upper. I got another pair of Oka Bs too. I'll just bring those out. Silver ballet flats. These are actually in really good condition. They're size seven. So Oka B, sometimes they size their shoes um, numerically and sometimes they use small, medium, large, but these are seven. They're in great condition. I actually have the same pair in red that I got, I think down at the Brunswick bins. They're easy, they're super comfortable, especially in the summer or in the rain because they're rubber. So there's those. Then in Coach and Four, not to be confused with Coach. Um, they're a good shoe line though. They're quality, they're well made. Oops. Ew. Somebody needs to vacuum. Uh, <laughs> these are just, a, I guess it's a little bit more than a kitten heel, but a high heel beige peep toe. Something you could wear, a business lunch or a wedding. It's kind of versatile. I mean, it's not terribly dressy, but they are leather. So, I, yeah, I've sold a pair of Coach and Four boots and a pair of Coach and Four heels before. They take a little while to sell, but they do sell. And they are made well. Stars Above is a pajama brand. They also make slippers. So this is a pair of burgundy velvet finish. Just more of that dust. Slippers. They're, I mean, there's a little bit of wear on the bottom, but... I need to get those posted quick because it is the season. I've been doing some reposting too. I try to repost often. I have right now, as of this morning, I had 1,313 active listings in my Poshmark closet. So, and typically I sell five to six items a day. So I'm going to keep on getting rid of stale inventory and I'm going to keep on sourcing shoes. Um, quite honestly, I felt like my sales came the quickest when I had a closet of approximately 800 active listings. I think the 13 is just too much. So um, I'm gradually, while bringing in new inventory, I'm trying to get rid of the stale stuff. Um, and I want to keep it closer to 800. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Crocs. I usually don't pick up those, but this was just the cutest pink with a floral kind of salmon pink upper. They need some cleaning, but I have those Miracle or those uh, Magic Erasers. They do really well on shoes. So I did pick those up. Um, Keds in a salmon pink. These are slide-on Keds, so the back is like that. They're in great condition. I just need to clean up the white wall a wee bit, um, but you can see they don't have a ton of wear. So, cute enough. Pick those up. Oh, okay. We're almost to the end here. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's been a while since I did a video. <clears throat> so, I'm losing my steam here. Um, Allbirds. These are felt wool sneakers. They need cleaning up on the bottom, but the top is great. And I had not... I think I had heard of the brand before, but they weren't in my mental rotation. But I could tell when I saw them sitting there in the shoe bin that they were quality material. But when I got home and looked them up, they do all right. Like, I think I can probably list them for 40, 35, 30 at the lowest. I'll probably list them for 40, but they're a nice uh, neutral beige. So there are those. This pair of Uggs was sitting in the bin and I passed them by twice because I hate selling espadrilles. I just think it's kind of a dated look. But because of the brand, I picked these up. They're Ugg. It's leather there. And then a silk, it seems like a silk fabric upper. Their person's little insole insert is still in there, but they're in good condition. You know, sometimes how espadrilles get that peeling on the jute. Um, no, those are okay. So I grabbed those, and this is all for 65 some odd dollars. I feel like I did really well. A pair of men's penny loafers. I do enjoy selling men's shoes. 
it's kind of a no frills thing to sell um these are gh bass and company size 10 men's black penny loafers a light amount of wear but <clears throat> they've got definite life left now i've got the boots here on the floor there's just four pair of boots left and then we're done this is a cream knit boot by cushionaire i need to clean up there's a mark oh there it is right there but once i get that cleaned up i think these are cute winter white it's that good stretchy fabric cute with jeans or even with leggings they're size nine i might try them on I don't, that's really not my style but they're cute I found a lot of good things at the, this sweater I have on is cashmere. I got it at the Salvation Army in Savannah and I got to resell <clears throat> and it is, um, it has this, I don't want to mess up my camera angle, but it has this tie portion at the waist. So you can either wear it tied or open and it is so cute. It didn't have a, a size tag but the brand is one girl who so anyway I took amazing pictures of it yesterday to get it posted and to demonstrate how the waist worked I tried it on and took a picture of myself in it and then that was over like it's and cashmere is usually too hot for me but this is a really light cashmere so I like it um I really want you all to see I just don't want to mess up my camera angle I can't bend my tripod there we go okay can you see how that is? And then it's long and it has side pockets. Hold on. So it's got these side pockets. It's long, so easy to wear. So yeah, that, because I tried it on to model it. Oh, am I gonna be able to get my tripod back? Um, That was a wrap, it's mine now. So that was a little segue. <clears throat> yeah, these were posted at the, or at the regular Goodwill for $19.99. They're Lauren Ralph Lauren, one of my bread and butter brands. Tall black granny boots, black leather lace up. Yeah, <laughs> those are gonna sell. I do have some cleanup work to do on them. Can you see those white spots? But there is, I mean, the sole doesn't have a ton. I guess there's wear there, but yeah, these will sell. They're a great pair of boots. Then I got these ankle boots they're size 40 I don't know what size that is I'm gonna to have to get a conversion chart out but they're platform ankle boots um you know something someone could wear for a party or New Year's sort of diva like but they're in good condition they don't have a ton of wear there's like a white film on the bottom. I think that sometimes manufacturers put that fabric there, but anywho, I think they will photograph well in the light. It's morning, so I'm not getting a ton of sun right now, but later in the afternoon, I will. And then lastly, I got a pair of Lucky Brand riding boots. They have a little bit of, you see that white mark there? But they're like a light cognac brown Leather with the stacked wooden heel and the buckle accent at the ankle. They're in good condition. They have a little bit of peeling. I hate that manufacturers make these boots with leather outer and vinyl inner because with a lot of wear, they get that peeling. I have another great pair of boots that I got last week at the bins that I haven't posted yet because of that. But one thing I found, if you take uh, duct tape and just take it on the interior and try to peel it all off, that helps. But yeah, when you put them on, I bought a pair of boots like that once. And it was a hassle because when I took them off, there would be stuff on my pant leg. But those had a lot more peeling than this. This just, have a, this just has a little peeling at the um, opening. So yeah, those are cute, right? I also have a few more leather boots in my own personal closet that I don't wear that I think I'm going to sell. And I have a few leather boots in my posh closet that don't have the best pictures that I could take better pictures of, so I'm going to do that. But that is my thrift haul, $65.67, two designer shoes. I think the handbags I got were solid. I think the clothing items are, I mean, that Lady Hagen and the athletic shirt and the Victoria's Secret bra, I mean, they're not going to fetch a lot. But I think all the choices I made were solid. I'm confident that all of those items will sell in due time, hopefully within six months at the longest. I really like to see things move within three months. 
Otherwise, either you've picked something that is real niche and not a popular niche or something that's oversaturated or your pricing is off. So I keep on toying around with things to see what works. That's what I've got today. Um, I'm going to get cracking and get some things posted. Thank you if you stayed this long for watching. Um, look forward to additional content coming soon from my Minnesota and Hawaii trips. And yeah, all right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>